Hello and welcome to part 3 of version 2 of my Pokemon Red gift log. In the last episode, we made our way to the Pokemon Center outside Mount Moon and we purchased a Swell Magikarp for the cheap cheap price of 500 Poké Dollars. However, this game is randomized and we got a Cypher, which is nice. And uh, I asked you guys to help me nickname it and I had a couple of really good suggestions. One was to call it Magikarp. All caps, because that's what the man said he was selling us, and we didn't want to make a liar out of him. I li love that suggestion. And also Slash, because, you know, Cybers Slash with their sides, don't they? That's what they do. So, in order to appease as many people as possible, we're going to definitely go with Magi Slash. And Magikarp was in all caps, because that's what the salesman said he was selling us, and Slash was in lowercase. So we have Magi Slash, and it's not even Magi Slash, it's Magi Slash. Because you shout if it's all caps, right? So we uh, we have Magislash this side there, and we are actually going to put it at the top of the party. Let's have a quick look at old Magislash here. Bug flying. Got a big electric weakness going on at the moment. So we only got quick attack, but that's priority at least. Right, and we're gonna we're actually gonna head back. Oh, whoop, whoop. Okay, speed up button, not a great idea, but I'm just trying to uh, pass a little bit of the time on the way back. Right, slow it down now. Oh, we got a battle. We don't know what's in this grass. Hopefully, it's not terrifying. It's a little bit scary. <laughs> not gonna lie. That's a little scary. But we're gonna have to switch to Cookie. I mean, it's low level. We're gonna have to switch to Cookie because Cyber's not taking that on with, without Stab. It's got a scratch. That's not gonna do a lot. Yeah, okay, good. Right, we've got Bubble that isn't gonna do a lot. You know what? I might just run from this, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. Leech life. There we go. Let's just let's just get away. We don't need to be fighting Parasex. Okay, so we're gonna try and avoid the same trainers as we avoided before. Okay, we fought one of these. I think we fought the I think we fought her. Any moment of truth? Yeah, okay. Sweet. Okay, so we're gonna head back into Pewter and undo the glitch. This guy is gonna want to take us back into town now, I'm sure. You're a trainer, right? Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Okay. So. We're going to make our way basically back to the start of the game. Um, because we now have two Pokemon, so we might be a little bit better equipped to fight our way through it. But we need to obviously train up Magislash. Oh! That's horrible. Horrible first encounter. No, bad. T-Wave, lovely. We're getting paralyzed. Nice. Can't escape! Terrific! We're that slow now because we've been paralyzed. Oh my god. Please escape. <laughs> right. So let's Ah We could we can fight this, right? Even paralyzed, we can fight this. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Right, we need to get back to a Pokemon Center and get Cookie healed up, because Cookie is crucial for us now. Magi Slash does not gain a level. Right, we're out. We're out the grass. Heal me up. Buttercup, baby, just let me down. That's not the words. I mean, heal me up isn't. Right, um, so we got lucky and got a Rapidash there, but... Route 2 isn't the ideal place to train. So we're going to head back through Viridian. See if we get a little bit further this time. Nice. Okay, that's one. Now this, I believe this is the one where if you walk up the middle, you're guaranteed not to get an encounter. And it looks like it's proving me right. Test it out if you so wish, if you don't believe me. Okay, now we could get an encounter anywhere in this grass, but we don't. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Uh, avoiding those Raichus, and I believe there's Mewtwo's in here as well. So, uh, yeah, we don't really want to be training in here. We've fought that... We've not fought that guy. Did we fight this guy? We did. We fought him by accident, I remember. Yeah, it's all coming back to me from last week now. Yeah, 
Uh, I forgot that we hadn't fought him and just stepped in front of him and instantly panicked. But luckily we dealt with him. Luckily we dealt with him just fine. Okay, right. We can afford to speed up a little bit now. Um, we didn't fight anyone, did we? So we don't need to go in the Pokemon Center. Okay, so it's all about the Diglets on Route 22 now. Which means we're going to keep taking switching damage, but... Okay, that is not a Diglett. Still not a Diglett. That's definitely not a Diglett. Oh, we got away. That was risky. Okay. We might actually be able to fight this thing. I don't know how frail Magislash is. Okay, yeah, we can fight this thing. Okay, so this is perfect training ground because we can actually fight the Diglets ourselves. That's quite fast. In fact, you know what? It doesn't even matter about it being asleep. Nothing here is going to, like, one-shot me or anything. Okay, so Magislash is quite fast, which is obviously a good thing. Oh, my God. Can we have... There we go. Okay, so, you know what? Just like I did in the last episode, I'm going to do a little bit of grinding now just to get Magislash up to... I reckon... Uh... Let's do level 10. So I will uh, see you shortly. Okay, so we discovered that we can fight Venusaurs. And uh, without even making a trip back to the Pokemon Center, that was nice and quick, that grinding. Level 10. Okay, so now we're going to get back to that Pokemon Center. And, uh, and heal up. And then we're going to start fighting our way through Viridian Forest. And hoping that by the time we get to the other end, our team is strong enough. To uh, deal with Brock. Uh, goodness only knows what Brock's got. Hopefully, like... To... Uh, fire types. I mean, that's not great for Ma Magislash, but... I mean, what, what would be good for both Pokemon? Is there anything that we have a common strength against? Not really. Magislash could do with it learning some moves. I should really have looked up its uh, Gen 1 learn set in between episodes, but I did no preparation, I just loaded up and started playing and started talking. So what can you do, eh? What can you do? Oh, what can you do? We can not walk into walls, that's what we can do. So there's a small matter of a trainer that needs fighting up here. So let's go and find him. We should get the battle by walking up here. There he is, there he is. Yo, you can't jam out. If you're a Pokemon trainer. Right. So. Wow. If that's correct, we're going to struggle with Cypher. We're going to struggle quite a lot. Goldeen. Okay. Okay, we can fight a Goldeen. Oh, no, it's going to have Peck. No, it's going to have Peck. Danger, danger. Oh, but we can't... Ah, oh, okay. Let's... A peck won't one shot us, so let's just see how much it does. Okay, that's that's nothing. That's nothing. It's not a stab. Right, we've got a quick attack. We learn live at 17. Focus energy at 20, which we don't want in first gen. That negates critical hits. Double team at 24 and slash at 29. Oh dear. Oh dear, that moveset is atrocious. Starmie. All of the water types. Making me fight with uh, Magislash. That's what it's doing this game at the moment. Right, how much does this do? Starmie's quite defensive, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay, okay, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Harden! We don't need... We need a crit now. Crit, please. Magislash. Come on, use your inner slash, damn. Use your inner slash to get the crit. Come on, you can do it. 
No, you can't. It's alright though, it uses Harden again, and this is a KO. This is good experience for Magic Slash. Good experience. And what's the last Pokemon gonna be? We get level 11 before we find out. Oh no! Oh, but wait, we quad resist then. Um... Quad resist the double kick. So we should be alright. I can't believe two bug, t bug catchers in here both have hit Lee's. Well, that does a lot. Oh, oh, don't be setting up on me. Crit! Magic Slash, crit. Nope. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's got no priority. Oh. Terrifying Hitmonlee. <laughs> for this early in the game with Meditate. Yeah, you did. Okay, so let's just very quickly he heal um, both of us. Well, no, just Magic Slash, actually. Cookie did nothing in that battle. But that's good, because uh, much as I like Cookie an awful lot, we don't want him to be running away with it. We want we want them to be staying roughly level, so we want Magic Slash to do a lot of the heavy lifting at the moment to catch back up with Cookie, because Cookie's nearly ready to take on Misty level-wise. And, uh and Magic Slash isn't ready for Brock yet, so, right, let's, um, I don't know why I didn't speed through the, uh, Pokemon Center bump, but I didn't. And we've got a Spearow! It's gonna have Peck. It's gonna be super effective. It's gonna do nothing. Let's fight it anyway. We might even one-shot this. Not known for its defense. Yep, there you go. Wild Arbok. There we go. Took three damage. That's fine. And gained a level. So it was worth it. A level for three damage? Yep. Yeah, fair swap. Run. Okay, we're fast enough. We are double its level. Ooh. Fight you. Nice. Ah. Run away. Just... Just run away. I was tempted then. See how much a quick attack does, but it's a fully evolved Pokemon. Licky Tone, I'll fight you. Crit! The crit when we might not have needed it. We certainly didn't desperately need it like we did in the past. Okay. We'll fight you. Nice! Oh! <laughs> right, okay. Chill out on the speed up now, Ibeza. We're back in, in present time now, if you like. We're back where we should be. We're not going to glitch past Brock again. We're going to go in and fight him. Are we going to do that in this episode? I think we're going to do that in this episode. We're certainly going to... Uh, set foot in the gym. Depends how long this uh, this trainer battle takes. Because I don't want the episode being too long. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Sorry guys. Okay. I'm really going to try and ease off the speed up button now. Because I've been using it quite a lot in this episode. Hiya, I can tell you what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you up to the top. Go on then, lad. Alright, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the top of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon, matches could be made easier. And you tell us nothing about the match ahead. So we can just scoot on by this guy to fight Brock, but that's not our style. So let's, uh, let's fight him. Stop right there, kid. It's the light years from facing Brock. No, I'm not. He's just at the top of the screen. You just can't quite see him. That's not any amount of light years. It's like not point not 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 one light years. In fact, it's probably not even that. It's probably like that many light seconds. Okay, Jinx. Jinx is terrifying for Magic Slash. So let's go ahead and switch. Can't do a lot against Cookie. Can put us to sleep though. Okay, so let's just uh, speed through these sleep turns. Good grief! No! Stop getting crits! Cook it! Ooh. Better be something that Magic Slash can deal with now. Magic Slash can deal with that. Hopefully. Okay, level 11. We've got two levels on it. We've got full health. We've got priority. 
Did it come down to the wire? Oh, okay, right. Let's speed. Oh, we got a crit! That's what you get for a smoke screening. Oh, we've... Oh, no, 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 no. We get another crit. Yes! I just slash! You beauty. I wanted to speed up through that because I knew it was going to be a lot of wasted turns. Maybe it took a bit of drama out. I don't know. Let me know what you think of speeding up in the comment section. I'm not actually a fan, so I'm surprised that I've been doing it so much. Okay, you know what? I... <laughs> I really don't feel like mentally ready. I, I'm speeding up so much, and I don't want to speed up and make a mistake against Brock. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the gym battle until next week. So it gives you guys an incentive to come back and watch. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you see the next episode next week. Also, do uh, Pokemon Moon content. Uh, there was an episode went up yesterday. There'll be an episode tomorrow. Uh, so there's some more Pokemon content, and I'm also doing a let's play of Pokemon. Ash Grey. So if you're into Pokemon, do subscribe. There's plenty of content for you right here on this channel. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed. Don't forget to share with your friends if you think they would enjoy as well. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time.